What am I to do now? Calling you, baby. <laughs> We're going to have a little sing song and a little dance before I start fitting my bike rack to the camper. Just to cheer you all up. <laughs> if anyone comes on. <laughs> I wish I had a link for everyone, but. I can use every chair, but I think it's a little bit higher than the, um, the overcast weather. I always tend to look up in the sky when I hear a jet. Let's have a little look. Video from share as well. Okay. Let's see if anyone comes on because, um, like I say, I can't. Oh, I've got an invite button there. Uh, copy to clipboard. Did that copy? Copy it. Oh. oh, no, that would just copy to Messenger, wouldn't it? You've identified gaps in your privacy. Oh. oh. Why is it they always ask for money every time they want to do something? Well, if anybody wants to be bad to me, so be it. Um, I don't know if anyone's chatting or what. I've got two on, but i comment. That could be it. Oh, oh hi, Danny. We're going to have a little dance and a sing song. You like a bit of reggae, don't you? <laughs> and then I'm going to fit my my um, bike crack to my... Uh... Did you get a nice sleep, Dan? I didn't go fucking bed till six. <laughs> and then I was up at eight. I just can't believe it. I feel, I feel a bit shitty, but I just find if I get stuck into something, and then I'm, I'll, I'll reset. <laughs> and then I'll just catch up the next day. But yeah... Okay. Uh, do you know what? There's this this um this couple of guys, uh Mooney Moonies or something. Hi nosy. Hi you nosy cow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a little sing song. I'm gonna put this song on. I don't know if it's gonna get me a strike or what, but I really like this song. The Moonies they're called. They was in Skegness. I don't know if you can see that. They was in Skegness. And they're really good. And I like this song. So we're going to have a little reggae to it, right? We're going to learn how to do a reggae dance. Now, I looked it up online last night. I've done a little bit of it, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm not tuned into it yet. But I will be. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of music. And then I'm going to start working on the rack. I've got a couple, a couple of plates. And then I can bolt that on. Obviously, I've got to mess about with it a bit, but pretty much it will be on the back of the camper. So, here we go. Excuse me for having my pyjamas on. I just, I just couldn't be bothered to change. I put the top on. <laughs> Where would I stand? <laughs> 
Right, here we go. Don't you start getting involved, Lily, because you'll just be annoying. Get on, you, this, is, this is a reggae dance. You can do it like that. Then you must play out of it. You like that? That's a good song, isn't it? Woo! You get into groove? Yeah. You just move it about. Do you want to dance, Hi, Victoria. Hi, Violet. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? That's it. They're wicked, though, aren't they? I'll turn that off because um, I'll end up singing to the next one. That was cool, though, wasn't it? Do you like my internet? Look, it's my dongle. That's cool, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go away. There we go. Right. Cool, I'm quite warm now. <laughs> Get me air out of the way and it'll cool me down a bit. Yeah, I'm going to cut some plates now, but I was doing some the other day and um, it's really dangerous because the angle grinder blade broke. I don't know where it went, it just flew off. I'm just glad it didn't hit me. There we go. Right, so I'm going to go and start this Jenny up. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go and start the Jenny up. I hope you was all dancing as well. I'm going to go and start the Jenny up. I'm going to cut these plates. It's going to take a little bit of time. But once I've done them, I'm going to start fitting that rack.
And then this afternoon, I'm going to come back on because I have to keep charging this poxy laptop up by the mains. I'm going to come on this afternoon and we're going to start taking my carburetor apart on the bus. Okay? Because I've had a little look and I, I think I know what I need or I need to do. But I've bought a, um, a rebuild kit anyway. So I'm going to rebuild the car. But I want to check. Um, God, what is it? The air valve or something. The I, 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 IAV or something like that. But anyway, you'll see it. You'll see it later. So I'm just going to go and start the genie up. I'm going to cut these bits of metal. And then we're going to get cracking. Be with me for a minute. <laughs> Put you down a bit. You better watch me cut my foot off.
Next one. I've got one more to do. And then we can move on. Get this done because it's a bit noisy, and if I just get this job done. Oh dear, I hate angle grinders, they're so dangerous. Yeah, but I, I although I do look a bit dodgy, uh, Danny, I am quite safe. I mean, I've used angle grinders all my life, petrol ones, and everything on roofing, so. But that one, I used it the other day, and because them blades are so thin like a, a well, it's even thinner than a biscuit. It just, one of them just busted out on me. Just I don't even know where it went. I just heard it hit the thing and shoot off. 
But yeah, that that was. Um, I, I don't like cutting. I don't mind grinding with grinders, but I don't like cutting. Yeah, that's my boat over there. Show you it. Look how big it is. Oh, where is it? It's over there. Goes from one end of the garden to the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna just have a little puff of the fag. Cutting what blade? Yeah, sixty-six foot log. I think I've got the longest boat here, actually. I like that mistake there, Jack, uh, Danny. Irvick. <laughs> Irvick. <laughs> it's meant to be Yervick. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, I'm going to get these brackets on. I'm going to see if I can lift that um, rack up and bolt it on. I've got to take it back off because I want to paint all them brackets. I don't want them being on all rusty. But I'll be back on that gasket version soon because I've just ordered some copper pipe. I need some copper pipe to make a loop at the front to, to counteract the vibration. So, yeah, let's get on with this project. If I put that down there, you better sleep out. That's it. Here we go. What I meant to do now Come me, baby Try and sort this out because this is caught on a thread here.
Let's try that. Why some motherfucker can Metal just don't move, does it?
what do you think of that? Should we give it a little test? Once I get the bike on there, oh, I'm off. It's solid, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of that then, eh? I really bashed my leg. Fucking metal didn't move. I hate it when I bash the front of my, my leg. I bet we all get that though, don't we? When we bash that bit, it hurts forever. No, it's got two bolts in it, but they're quite big bolts. But what I'm going to do, I might get a friend of mine to bolt a, um, weld a couple of plates from here to the um, steel girders that go through the bus, just to give it a bit of extra. Because when I'm not racing, and I'm using my camper to go away. I'm going to get a, a, a little moped and stick it on the back there so that I can just go shops and stuff. A lot of people have cars. They tow cars behind them, don't they? But I think a bike, a bike will... Um... Yeah. What's that? Pen, penelope. Pen, penelope. Pit stop. Hi, pit stop. <laughs> Is it? P... Peen lop, lop, peen lop. Oh yeah, all oh, right. Pit stop. <laughs> did you did you pick that name deliberately so I can read it? <laughs> Do you want to listen to another song? I'm not going to dance though because I've, I've got too much to do and I, I feel fucked today. I went in a hangout, didn't I? <laughs> I think it's a hangout. It's a hangout. A, a Google Mate. It might be a hangout. Um. Right, where's this guy? Because uh, we've got to get. I, f I love this song. Hey, there we go. This is a nice song. We'll have a little sit down and a rock and roll, a little rock. I hope you're all up dancing. Mm. Mix it up, mix it up, oh, you love. Yeah, it up. I'm surprised my cat's not sitting out there with me. They follow me everywhere, my animals. Oh. How about that? Is that what? Mix it up, mix it up, mix 
Всегда поняла. You wait till I get some singing instruments. As it happens, if there's anyone on here that knows a little setup I can get where I can sing on a mic, I, I will do a, a, a little sing song on here in the mic. A little, a little the, the neighbours joining. Well, they'll probably just look at me like a weirdo, but they're all weird because I don't think a lot of them smile. <laughs> Mix it up, mix it up for your love. Wind up, wind up. Wind up, wind up for your love. I bet my hands look massive below. Rawr! Matt Taylor, watch it. <laughs> You're going to get them, you psychopathic. Fruit cake. <laughs> They've actually got a CD out now. If you look them up, the Mo the Moonies, the Moonies. They've got a, a download, uh, five pound, or you can pre-order a CD for ten pound. I don't mind promoting these people. I'm actually going to send them a message and ask them if I could use that first song for my intro because. It's nothing like having a little dance before you get cracking, is it? I'll tell you what we do. I'm going to show you my garden um, where I'm doing my project. I don't know if I'm with me. I'm Moden. Let's take our Moden with us. I'm going to show you because I'm putting all, pl all plants along the top so it roots all through the dirt. Let's put that there. Roots all through the dirt and then binds it all together. I put all my um, mints along the top there. I'm going to put all um, red clovers down the side, but they're going to they're going to be growing in with a with a grass. But this is how far I've got so far. I've got that. This is a bit awkward with that. We'll go down now. But I've got to put all slabs down here. But I've got to lower this another foot. I'm going to lower this another foot. So that I actually, when the water rises, I can um, just come in through what I can do. And what I'm, I'm going to do as well is we've got, see that willow behind me? I'm going to cut those are branches. I'm going to put them all along the bank there and all along the bank there. And I'm going to let them grow and I'm going to, I'm going to tie them together. So that I've, got, I've got a big arch here made out of willow tree. But it's going to take a little bit of while. But they, these willow trees do grow quite quick. So that's what it looks like from here. From down here. Got my plants over there. But it's going to go all the way along that bank, all the way down there. And when I dig the rest of this out, I'm going to go right down there. So that my, my bank's raised. Because I haven't actually dug anything out that's not at the highest point. I've all done it just, just below the highest point it was before. So I'm not disrupting in anything but um i've got one the other end as well but they're really handy because if a dog falls in she can actually get it out of herself so it's a safety thing for her as well as like a luxury thing for me but i think we've only got one plot left here and then these are going to start shooting up this um these plots up here but we still haven't got anyone moving next door to me yet that is partly my fault because i keep putting everyone off i let the dog out and i tell him that i've got a dispute with the owner of next door because he's cut my garden short by 10 foot and people just seem to walk away from it <laughs> and when when someone moves there that i think i like i'll just like i won't say nothing yeah it's a nice boat it needs a good old jet wash so i might jet wash that in the next couple of days 
it's even better inside, but it's a bit messy because I'm always out here now because I, I, I'm hibernating in the winter. None of us come out. We just go shopping, come home, get back in the boat, put the fire on, job done. But how much is it up for what it could do with in a way? Um, I think they're going for 55 or something like that. It depends how wide that one is. I'm not sure about it next door. I think he's about 70 foot. I paid, I think I paid 55, so it's probably going to be around 48, 49 for next door. But it's a 70 foot garden. And the bonus is you get to live next door to me. <laughs> you get to see me sunbathe, topless sunbathing, or you get to see me singing and dancing out here, or you get to see me shooting my targets out here. There's loads of things I do out here that people like like to see me doing. I don't know if they think I'm stupid or something, or they just, I'm entertainment. I don't know. But whatever way, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to try and monetize this. And when I go on the track, let's hope that YouTube can pay for my tyres. Because I can pay for a, a, a fair bit of the stuff, but I can't. If I go racing, I can't pay for it all. Because I might have to go abroad and shit like that. And if I do, i got a nice camper. <laughs> nice setup, though, isn't it? Oh, that is my cat. Come here, Tom. That is my cat. <laughs> it's my little Tom. Say hello to everyone, Tom. You bought a rabbit in last week. I'm not very happy with her. She's the naughty cat in your Tom. In your. Say hello to everyone. Who's that? Who's that Tom? Who's this? It's like, it's like I have two labourers working with me that ain't got a fucking clue how to do anything when I'm here. <laughs> the cat and the dog make themselves busy doing nothing but pestering me. <laughs> Victoria said hi to you, Tom. She's too busy wiping all her stuff on me because it calms her. Because they have little they have little pores at the side of their mouth, and when they rub things, it's to get their scent on it. Any Tom, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna end up turning the computer off in a minute. It's like she pushes the vent out of the way so she can get it comfortable. Anyone doing anything exciting today? <laughs> I'm gonna fill my boat up with water today. So I've, I've done the brakes on my car, so now I'm up and running again. Yeah, I get all this horrible stuff all over me. Look, all that shit on my hands there. Look, it's all come off of her. Manky little cat. She has, she's got an eye that always leaks. But she's always had it since she was a baby. I wipe it and all that stuff. It just comes back now and then. It's weird. Weird cat. Weird family. Weird cat. Weird dog. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? <laughs> She's actually getting used to a couple of the dogs up in there because we've got people, a few people that have got dogs and I go for walks with them. And they take their dogs' lives in their hands, but she's getting really good now. She's calming down a lot. Not the cat, the dog. The, the, the cat just walks up to them all. She's mad. She just walks up to them all. The dogs are fine with her. Tom, stop keep pushing me. Don't push me. <laughs> yeah, they're a pain, aren't they? Pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> is that pen pen pendolo? Pendolo? No, it ain't got a D, is it? <laughs> I've been waiting for ages to get that rack on the bike. Uh, that bike that rack on the back of the camper. I don't know if it's alright though. But that that is actually designed to take you take the tow bar a bit off your car and bolt that to the holes that are already there, and it it, it can take up to four hundred pounds. So 
it should be good for my bike because it's a racing bike it's quite it's not light but it's a lot lighter than if it was actually a road bike so you're going to see me on the 23rd of the 8th 2001 at St. Atterton. and all my enemies are welcome to come and punch my face in like they said they was going to do you're welcome to come and punch my face in you'll be shocked though I might be a midget but I'm a mad midget <laughs> oh yeah I'm, I'm gonna um I'm gonna end this stream now and I'm gonna probably come on in a few hours and we'll be in the camper then so because I've got to take the bulkhead off in the camper to get to the engine so I could start taking the car apart because I need to start getting moving on this i don't care if i ain't got the lpg up and running by the time i do my track day but i need the car tuned a bit because it is a bit juicy and it cuts out when it it um when the revs go low and that's quite dangerous on the road because you lose your brakes and your steering so i need to deal with that yeah yeah i do you know what i haven't when i started thinking about how long ago I went on a track day? To me, it seems like three or four years ago, but it's 10 years. 10 years. Because I, I had my son and work and all that, I just couldn't do it. I had to sell the bike and everything. I just had a road bike. But now I've got a proper racing bike, I'm going to take it on a track day. And if, if I like it, which I think I do, because I love the positioning of it, the way I sit on it, I'm going to actually work, um, go in the classic racing proper classic racing you still on the roundabout <laughs> two donuts around the roundabout oh she's found someone going past in the boat bless her she'll come running out in a minute and then go up the other end of the boat and get them there there she goes Whee! <laughs> it gets really good exercise when people go past on the boat She's absolutely knackered of a night. She can't even get up and ask for a biscuit. I have to take them over to her. <laughs> She's come back down that end. What a crazy dog, isn't it? You're busy, in you, Lils? You've done a double run now. Do you want to have a look in the, inside my camper? Come and look inside. It's a bit of a mess because I, I don't use it. I'm not sure at the moment. I was in shorts running it the other day. I want 400 quid. I said, sod that. You ain't getting 500 quid out of me. But that's not bad though for a camper, is it? Because you don't have to do, you don't have to tax it. You don't have to MOT it. But you have to insure it. But because I've got a car as well, I'm not paying 400 quid for it, for this. But here's the steering. Look at the steering. I've got a fixed viewer as well. And I've got to put the radio in. I started putting a radio in and I decided I didn't want that one in. So I'm going to get another one. Well, I've got another one which is down there, and I'm going to fit that one because it's got leads on it where I can plug my phone in and put all my music on it. But that's the front end. It's got lovely seats in it. You don't normally see them in that good condition. They're really nice seats. They spin around. You've got the where the table goes there, but I took it out because I thought I had to fill this in up with a load of boxes. And then we've got... It might be better if I put you in, mightn't it? Here. I've got a toilet here. This is my toilet. And then I've got a cupboard over here. Nice big cupboard. Yeah. And I've got I've got a big double bed there. I've got drawers here. I've got a big fridge. This is a lovely fridge. Brand new. That cost a thousand pounds that fridge. But it runs on gas. I've got my little cooker. And I've got my sink. We've got two sinks. And I've got all my cupboard storage spaces. I've got cupboards up here. I've got lights. I don't know if they'll work. I think I've, I've disconnected the uh, panel. Let's have a look. Just put my hand on. Got lights under here. I've got to reposition this shit, but, uh, switch because I've put strip lights under it. Can you see them? I've put strip lights all the way under there so you don't see them. but I get all the lights over the worktop, and then you've got all these ceiling lights up. Oh, that one! I think that one comes on here. 
Yeah, look. <laughs> at night. Can you see that night? It's like a triple <laughs> night. There you go, look. <laughs> That's cool, though, isn't it? I've got the air con up here. And that's a heater as well, but I've got central heating off of this thing here. Proper. Oh, I've turned it on. <laughs> but I've got central heating now. That won't heat up though, because um, it fires up with a gas. Yeah, I've got my lights here. Loads of lights. I've got a light there. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Got a nice skylight there. It's got a socket in the ceiling now. That's probably for the air dryer when you're drying your air in the bathroom. And all the windows have got nets on, like the metal nets, the mesh. It's good, isn't it? Mm. What is that? Aircon as well, yeah. Yeah, it is a bit posh, isn't it? That's brand new, that aircon as well. We just had that fitted. And he's had the central heating fit as well, which was nice. Yeah. I'm down here any time you like, Victoria. You can stay in here. I don't stay in here. I'll stay on the boat. But this is quite comfortable to stay in. You've got a big double bed. And even this chair turns into a double bed. So you've got two double beds in here. And you can still sleep people on the floor if, like, we're having a party. Do you know what I mean? I, I actually want to get out a big American hoarding because I, I've seen one and it, it bolts right along the roof because the seat the, the the door is so high, you have to have the one that they have, and it goes right out, and you've got two bars that pop out, and it's right solid. But I've got to try and buy one somehow and get, get because I won't get it over here, I'll have to get it from America. So that's going to cost a few bob. But it's not bad for 50 years old, is it? 51 in January it is, and it's an automatic. Left hand don't bother me because I used to have a Corvette Stingray. I just took to it like a duck to water but that's cool isn't it this is do you know what i'd rather sell my boat than this i would because i could live in here on the land and not have a boat and have the whole river free to just jump in mm -hmm. cool isn't it we've got a swimmers club up here if anyone wants to join the swimmers club you can just come up here then Come up here whenever you like, just jump in the river. I think they've got 20 to 40 members, and they're all lovely people. Yeah, it is in good condition. I don't know whether to, I don't know whether to um, paint the wood a different colour or tidy it up and keep it that colour. Do you know what I mean? I really don't know what to do. I, I, I keep thinking, I don't want to take it from a, away from its original. Thing, but and then I'm living in it. Do you know what I mean? So I want it to look nice and comfortable for me. But it's got a lovely new ceiling in as well. Because a lot of these, you see all the ceiling hanging down and everything, and it's all been done. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Danny. White or or, or a creamy colour or like um I don't know a light colour but a crazy colour. Because uh, the carpet, I mean, this carpet looks really dirty, right? But it's not. It's got different shades of brown in it. But I don't like the brown. But it's so thick and soft and lovely. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't take it out. I'm just gonna get a couple of little rugs to put on top. Paint, paint chips. What's that? Paint chip. Do you know what? I was actually going to try and get someone who does graffiti and actually have the whole thing outside graffitied, but a nice graffiti. I'd give them a week's holiday up here while they're doing it. <laughs> a week's holiday while they're doing it. But I reckon someone would love to do that and they put their signature on it. And I reckon it'll look crazy. Because to get to get this back to its original colour and condition, you're never going to get the panels outside straight. Because Although these buses are, are solid, the, the, I, I think the coachwork done by the Americans is not that good. And they're, they're not that good, to be honest with you. But it, the way everything is put together, it does look good. But you can see bits where they could have done better. And when you think like back in the day, these was pretty much the price of a house. 
Do you know what I mean? But you don't see many of these over here. But when you join the a Dodge website, you start seeing loads of them. And there's loads of this colour. That's why I was thinking of having it done my own my own little style. Have Paris right across it in graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some crazy shit all around here. It looked cool, wasn't it? I, I fitted two solar panels on the roof so that my batteries are always topping up when I'm not using it. Because these do tend to go flat batteries a lot, but I've got two on it, two batteries, one at the back because I've got a train. Oh my God, I was going to say a transgender. <laughs> I've got a transformer, a generator, that's it. I've got a, trans... a generator in the back. But it's all 110. Yeah, it would look nice, Pink. Don't don't tempt me. I've got a um a generator in the back, but it, it produces 110. But if you look at a lot of the products we get in this country, they do range from 110 to 240. So a lot of the stuff I've got does run on 110. So I'm not going to change it because I'll have to change the Jenny as well. And it's a nice Jenny. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, pink would be good. But I can do all the bedding and all that in pink. But the thing is, it's like these seats, right? I want to try and keep it in sync with these seats because of the green. It had all green curtains. So I want to try and keep it like 60s, 70s. And I've got these lovely flowers that stick to the table. I'll show you guys. See them? They're lovely, aren't they? They go in the middle of the table. And even when you're driving, oh, I look lovely, you're just wobbling about. The first thing you notice is the flowers in the window. But they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Where's my flag, anyway? Oh, I've lost it. Mm -hmm. oh, it must be in the garden. It must be in the garden. <laughs> White with green. What, inside? Yeah, it would, yeah. It'd, ca it'd carry on the colour of the seat as well, wouldn't it? Because I can't change them seats. They're, they're, they look like they've been redone and all got piping on and everything. And I ain't, I ain't altering them. And they swing round. So when you park up, you can turn them round and you've got them two chairs as well. Or you can put them that way and sit across them. But I'm going to come on and do a live later on. I'm going to uh, get this bulkhead off. Because this is where the engine is in here, or well, it's out there, but it's in here. If you want to take, if you want to take the engine out, you take the hold of the front off and take it out that way. But if you want to work on it, you can work on most of the top from in here. So we're going to be in here like, this afternoon, taking my carb apart, and we'll talk about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and get away from all this. He said, she said. Because it's getting on my nerves, all that shit. I, I, there's a few people that I'm going to attack, but I'll just do that when I feel like it because they deserve it because of what they've been doing to me and what they still do. So they're going to get it. So you beware, Matt Taylor. As for you, Fat Dan, you just stay away from me because I will cripple you. I know you're crippled, but you, you, I will cripple you. I won't leave you alone, and I mean that. So you just stay away from me fat bastard you fucking fat tumor not you danny you know dan sullivan the ps guy the ps2 guy or is it ps4 guy <laughs> fucking dickhead see he's fucked himself really because i i gave him leeway to just accept who i was without being rude but for him to come back to me after that and say i can't fucking stand you lot i'm not buying that I'm not having none of it. So you're on my books, Dan. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get a piece of me, a piece of my gob. I'm gonna annoy you like shit. Okay. So who else is there? Katie Boyle, another piece of shit. I went on Matt Taylor's the other day. She started giving me loads of mouth, but I'll gaslit her anyway. So yeah, A one thousand. I'm coming for you as well, because you're a piece of shit and all. Because you think Matt Taylor's fine. So, yeah, that's my little rant out of the way. Yeah, we all know Fat Dan. And what makes it worse, right? The guy's vile and he always has his camera on. What a vile, fat blob. And he has his camera on. That disturbs me. Hmm. 
<laughs> we can still have fun with it though, can't we? Still have fun with it. And he had the cheek to say to someone, because I went in a, a live the other day, he had the cheek to say to someone, because I said, oh, I'm going, I can't stand that fat, ugly tumour. And he said, oh, can someone go and tell Paris that I ain't got a problem with her? He just calls me a girl now. You know what I mean? Because it suits him, because he knows. He fucking knows he's done himself a wrong one. He's got his little protection, but <laughs> only only when he goes in certain places. But anyway, that's enough about that shit. So we're going to get this carb sorted out later on, and you'll be able to see my 6.7 meter engine. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, but it, you say that, Dan. It's bullshit. He'd done it because he was in a group and there was a lot of people there. He likes to act the big Charlie potato. He was going to come and punch my fucking head in. I offered to pick him up. I said, I'll pick you up and I'll bring you back here in a lorry and we'll have a little fucking fight. It's just all that. But as soon as he starts to see how many people do like me, it's like, oh, can someone go and uh, tell Paris that I haven't got a problem with her? I've got a problem with you. Danny Sullivan now because I gave you plenty of opportunity to just okay you don't like me just respect me when you talk to me but no 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 you give it the big Charlie potatoes you live with that can we go and see if we can see some kites I can see them but I don't know if you can actually see them on my on my um laptop oh he's gone now what a little bastard look at him old tricks over there I'm so gay I didn't get them but now I'm happy because the way I've done my land, everyone likes it here because it's it's really accessible to the water and stuff. So I will be getting a few jobs up here, but I just don't know whether I want them, to be honest with you. There are a few jobs I've turned down, but it's like, there's people here that are, are like clicky. And um, I don't want to do the jobs for the people that are clicky with the people that are, are, are wrong and zero. So I've just said, no, I don't want to do it. But there's a couple of jobs this way I'm going to do. Oh, it's a kite, yeah. Let's see if we can get it up. I'm going to kick it in. So they've got, they have nests in their oak trees. They'll probably come out. Watch that oak tree there and you might see them come out. Are you watching? <laughs> Are you watching? It can make me look like a lion then. Oh, it's making me look like a lion. Let me show you what Tony's done out here. He, like, he loves his grass, Tony. Hey, look, my bees box. I made that bees box. It's a small thing. They haven't gone in yet. Look what he's done to the bees. He can't do that one because he's that one. He's that one. And he's got a crack and everything in it. He'll probably go down at a sinkhole. <laughs> I know he can't. That's why he should keep his mouth shut. He's just hes just nothing. His tumour's bigger than me. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's got the little blackbirds in the field. Huh? It's so funny because they actually fight the kites in the air. Like, it's like the, the blackbirds are over that side and the kites are over this side. And when they meet in the middle, a couple of the blackbirds will come out and they'll attack the kites so that they go back over their own half. Because they've all got, got babies and stuff. But all, I think they're all pretty much growing up now, the babies. Even the rabbits are getting bigger. I can't believe that kite's gone. I can hear it, though. I can hear some. But we've got loads of them up here. They're probably all, probably all having a break. They're probably all having a tea break. I'll tell you what, I've never seen so many birds as up here that I've never seen before. You know what I mean? In London, you don't see the birds that are up here. You get really, really tiny ones. They're really tiny. They, they land on a tree and they look like a leaf. They're that small. But we've got them everywhere. Oh, well, you'll have to, you'll have to, um, I'll have to show you the kites another day. Sometimes they come quite close and low and they, they, they look beautiful. They're massive. When they come close, it's surprising how big they are. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go off. Thanks all for coming on. Individual packs quickly. Hey,
Those are weeds, they're doing quite well, aren't they? Look. <laughs> I didn't know if those weeds off or veg or not, so I left them and it's obvious they're weeds. Because look at the size of them. But I think these here are sunflowers. I can't think of the sunflowers and I've got my dog. I'm going to keep them. Is there weeds? There weeds. But I think they're sunflowers because I'll put sunflowers and tomatoes in there. Say bye, Lils. Right, I'll see you all later, guys. Thanks for coming on and I'll, and I'll be on in a few hours. I'm going to charge this back up again because it's getting quite low and then I'll come back on and we'll be in the camp up. All right, so you all have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.